all my beautiful soul family, light workers, star seeds, family and friends. Welcome. This is Patricia1111. Welcome to my channel. Before we start any reading, we'll do a mini meditation. Okay. So um, I'm going to, of course, uh, before I go into that, actually, I just want to say that my mom is praying for all of you still. Uh, she prays three times a day for all of you on YouTube. And also for the collective, which is the world, which is the people and everyone. And then even the animals and the ocean, the earth, everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, so if there's anything that you want to leave in the comments below for my mom, please do. Because I do uh, I, I do translate the messages for her. All right. Um, and again, I want to give a big thank you to all of you for all the beautiful, kind words for my family that you give me for my for babies, for myself, for my mom, my daughter. Um, you know, I we exchange that towards you by giving you love, um, also sending you a virtual hug of peace, and just know that everything will be okay. And uh, yes, it's difficult what we're all going through at this time, but uh, we are stronger than you think. We are the light. Just remember, we are love and we are the light. And um, so yeah, let's get started with your meditation. Okay, so of course I'm going to invoke uh, my higher self, our beloved uh, divine uh, universe, our beloved uh, Mother Gaia to be here with us, Mother Earth, to sustain and keep us grounded. Of course, I'm going to also invoke my spirit guides, my spirit animals as well, my fairies, my archangels, my angels, and um, of course, uh, not, last but not least, my ancestors to come in and my family of light. Okay, so take a deep breath in. I will release, help you release, and then we'll do affirmations together or intentions together, okay? So take a deep breath in. Hold. And release. Invoke Archangel Uriel to come in to clear my energy and space and do the same thing for you. I will invoke Archangel Raphael to send healing energy for those that want to embrace it with pink and emerald fusion of light. Take a deep breath in, hold, and release. Archangel Michael. So Archangel Michael is for a breakthrough in your life. Set your intentions. What would you like Archangel Michael to release from you? Take a deep breath in. And release. Also Archangel Michael is going to come through for the collective for the world what would you like for archangel michael what kind of breakthrough do you want archangel michael to give you for the world and last but not least we're gonna ask archangel gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with unconditional love peace unity harmony Returning to good health, abundance in any shape or form, protection. If there's any other intentions you want to put in, go right ahead. Take a deep breath in. And release. Now we're going to start with the intentions. You can repeat after me if you like, or just... Um, don't have to repeat. It's all up. It's up to you. So let's do the first one. Just gonna clear the energy one more time. I intend to bring more 
joy within me that I am now. I intend to bring more happiness within me that I am now. I intend to bring more, you know, you could say fun within me that I am now. I intend to bring whatever it is that you want to bring within yourself right now. I intend to experience all the love and kindness that is within me that I am now. I intend to experience more of the wellness always within me that I am now. I intend to experience more of the soul within me that I am now. I intend to to also bring more of the light within me that I am now. You can also say, I intend to experience more of the truth within me that I, that I am now. You could also say, I intend to experience more of the way always within me that I am now. And if let's say you're like out all day and you were in a shopping mall or anything like that, where there's a lot of people, you could, uh, as a way of clearing, you could say, uh, as a way of clearing out of my emotional body, I intend to experience more of the light within me that I am now. Take a deep breath in, my loves. Hold and release. I love you. Bye. Bye. Hello, my loves, and welcome to Patricia 1111. And welcome to your weekly reading from April, let's see, April 18th to the 24th. So we'll see which of the signs are up next. Okay. So let's see who's next. Just going to shuffle them a bit like this. And I'm going to cut them in three and then choose the first card that's on top. For a lot of you that uh, uh, don't, do not know this, or those of you that do know, I still have uh, problems with my arm and my hand. So I can't shuffle like I used to. So uh, let's see what is the next sign up. And it's Gemini. So if you have Gemini in your chart, okay, if you, uh, your son is in Gemini, and of course uh, any other places placements that you have in Gemini, this is your reading. Whenever you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, claim it. If not, look at your other placements like your ascended sign. Look at your moon, your Venus. Um, also, if you want to look at your north node as well, okay. And uh, let's, let's just, I'm just going to give heads up to um, from my readings. The way I do them is that when I channel messages, I channel them very quickly. So, a lot of you think that I'm rushing through the reading, I am not rushing through the reading, it's the way I channel, and I've been channeling like this since I've been very young. So, it's, it is what it is, I cannot change it. But you can always come back and we watch the video if you feel that you missed some of the messages, okay? And also feel free to swap the energies around and take what's yours in the reading and let the rest go if it gets confusing. Because you remember, I have I am channeling for the collective for Gemini. And cross watchers, of course, and um, cuspers are welcome into the reading. So now I am gonna take out, so your this card here shows me number, 15 and it says indecision and it says should I stay or should I go okay so let's see here I'm going to take a card an extra uh, number code card here a moonology this card stands out okay we'll take it out and see Don't let your uh, past hold you back and be bold and make the first move, okay? So don't let the past hold you back and be bold and make the first move are the cards that came out for you. Now we will take out the cards. So I will do your your, your tarot reading now. Uh, Gemini, hi my beautiful gems, how are you all doing? I hope that you're doing well. Uh, so what I wanted to say here is that um, I will do your tarot card and then I will clarify for you. And then after the clarification, uh, I will also um, bring out some of my oracle cards for you. Okay, so I hope you stay tuned for the whole reading. All 
right. Let's see what's going on here for you. the current energy and the recent past Ooh. and in the immediate future what is hidden from you and the hopes and fears possible outcome. Perfect. Okay, in the overall energy, you got the Three of Swords reversed. So definitely here, you're, uh, there's a, a lot of healing that took place, forgiveness, uh, maybe recovery. There could also be reconciliations as well that are taking place, but it's about, uh, you know, healing. It's a, a lot of healing from that heart chakra energy. And now in the situation, you've got the two of pentacles. So a lot of you are balancing at this time, maybe juggling. Okay, these could be finan financial decisions that you're going to be doing here. Um, definitely here, you're trying to bring something into balance. There could also be a possibility that you are um, between two decisions or two, uh, you're being pulled in two different directions. And what's crossing you and what's the challenge is the devil card. It could be Capricorn in energy, some of you are dealing with. If not, this is Saturn energy. Okay, the planet Saturn. Okay, so uh, when the devil is reversed, there's some type of freedom that's taking place here from you. From what? Maybe feeling stuck. Uh, maybe you uh, we, there was a lot of negativity or toxic tox, uh, toxic people around you or in a situation. But here it talks about freedom. Uh, in the root of the situation, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. This could be you, uh, my beautiful gems, that you're moving towards something very slowly and you're planning ahead. Or there's someone coming in, okay, as the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, definitely hear someone coming in very slowly, okay? Uh, and that they bring, uh, they're kind of, if they're a person, any type of person they are, they are very kind and energy. Now, in the recent past, you had the magician reversed here. So, yes, uh, you know, some of you uh, were not manifesting, okay? Were, you were not probably manifesting because you were healing at that time. So, uh, there was no time to manifest or uh, in a situation uh, what you're working towards on in, in is the hangman reverse, which is a good card because usually when it's uh, like this, it talks about where, uh, you know, uh, you, there was a sacrifice or a period of waiting. When the hangman is reversed, it talks about, you know, it talks about where um, you are aware of everything. There's a surrendering that you took place and now you're aware, you know, like you're more aware, consciously aware of everything. Okay, so surrendering. And uh, in the immediate future, you have Jupiter in energy here. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is coming in for you. So there's definitely change that's going to take place, okay? Uh, which is uh, luck and karma that's, gonna, that, that, that's, that's here for you. And the wheel is turning in your favor. And where you are at with the Ace of Cups reversed here, it just talks about where uh, there's a lot of self-love at this time that you are doing. Um, you know, it's about your emotions. It could be that uh, you're repressing your emotions, and but there's a need for self-love and forgiveness. And what is being hidden from you? You got the death card. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio energy. If not, this is there's resistance here for change to take place because there's a lot of fear-based energy for the death and rebirth to take place. And with the two of wands and the hopes of uh, reversed, and the two of wands uh, reversed. Um, it's a fear of the unknown, some of you, okay? And it could be that you're, there's a lack of planning in the situation. But at the same time, if you're like going within for self-love, I do feel with the two of wands reverse, this talks about inner alignment. 
that you're going through. And in the possible outcome, you got the Nine of Cups, okay, which is a wish fulfillment that you truly desire here. So we're going to take out my other cards here. I will shuffle them. So give me a second. I don't know if you hear Sandy, but she's snoring. <laughs> yeah, she's sleeping. Okay, let's see what's going on here for you. We're gonna take a, a few cards for the uh, for the overall, which is the Three of Swords reversed. So let's see what's going on here for you. You got the Queen of Pentacles. You got the chariot, so some cuspers are here. Oh, and the queen, the king of uh, cups energy. So I don't know if this is you in energy, um, Gemini as king of cups, uh, but there could be someone here in this type of energy for you. This is someone that's very balanced, okay? Uh, when it comes to love, okay, let's say, let's just do love first. Uh, but when it comes to love, there's someone here that is emotionally mature and values family, okay? They're very loyal people. Um, they have a balance between their head and their heart. Uh, if you're dealing with someone that is more like, uh, if it has to do or with someone that has to do with work in a situation here, because you do have the Queen of Pentacles, this could be you in energy as well. I'm putting it out there. Uh, this is someone that's very practical, logical, and they have a lot of wisdom. With the Queen of Pentacles, again, this talks about like success that's coming in. Um, it talks about, uh, you know, someone that's very nurturing and there's a good business energy. And with the chariot, I see someone taking back their power and moving forward. So there's going to be moving on from a situation from feeling like this three of swords energy. And it's about, uh, you know, willpower. It's about finding direction. Okay. Uh, it's about ambition and uh, taking control. Okay. Taking control and moving on, but definitely here, there's stability that comes in. Okay. So very nice energy to see that with the chariot. Oops. So you could be dealing with a cancer or you have cancer in your chart. So now let's look at the two of pentacles in the situation here. Why is the two of pentacles here? You got the hangman. The five of wands, the moon. Neptune and Pisces is here. Um, okay, so there is some type of sacrifice here or a waiting period, okay, for this Two of Pentacles, for something to come into balance here for you or to make this final decision, whatever you have to make. I do see with the Five of Wands in these typical cards are not like the other cards that we usually use. Uh, this talks about like usually there's competition and disagreements, but here I see that uh, there's going to be some type of truce, okay? Um, yeah, like... Uh, how do I say this? It's like two people coming together and talking about the situation, okay? Because I do feel there's going to be a peaceful resolution here. Maybe that this, maybe you are feeling um, at this time, um, you know, if it comes to a situation in your life where there could be a conflict or disagreements. Uh, but with the moon energy, again, the moon energy is like, uh, you know, there's a lack of clarity and need to reflect because it could be illusions. There could be deceptions around you. So, uh, you're just waiting and collecting all the information here with the hangman energy. Now, let's look at what's crossing you and uh, what is uh, the challenge here. Saturn or some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. So I do see freedom here, okay? So let's see what's going on here. See? Yeah, completion. Two cards of completion right there. Well, the tower is also completion because it's unexpected change that's coming in. Sudden unexpected change. This is the divine coming in to clear the energy of Saturn in your chart. Or if you were dealing with people that were toxic or unhealthy or some type of addictions. It could have been habits, anything. So there is definitely a breakthrough here. You got, again, the devil card upright. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, three of swords, eight of pentacles. Uh, so definitely here, what I'm being shown is 
because the card came up twice, and it's very relevant for all of you, especially if uh, if you have Saturn that's very strong in your chart. It depends. Maybe you have G your Gemini is in Saturn or something like this. What it shows me here is that you were walking away, Eight of Cups energy, from people or situations uh, that don't are not for your highest good, okay? And also walking away from maybe some type of addiction, whatever. This could be any type of addiction or feeling stuck or negativity. You're walking away because you do have the freedom card here with the devil reversed, okay? You're walking away uh, from things and situations because you are healing uh, your heart, okay? You are healing here with the three of swords, okay? So you are, there's a there's a period of healing here, okay? Because there could have been a, a sadness, a grief, a sorrow, or loss, or some type of trauma. The energy is about, I feel here that the energy of the tower is going to clear everything for you in the challenge, and whatever it is that you're working on, whatever you're putting energy on, which is yourself here, is to continue working on this type of energy, whatever you're putting it, whatever you're putting a lot of energy on, is to keep keep going okay because like the nine and the ten is not far from you with the eight of pentacles so let's look at this with the nine of pentacles i also feel someone keeps coming back in and out of your life as well um that is not for your highest good let's look at this nine of pentacles in the root you've got the page of swords the two of swords the page of pentacles definitely here there's some type of, um, again, there's a decision that has to be rendered here. There's someone coming in very slowly. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. There's also air. It doesn't have to only be that. Uh, there's on, there's an offer here. Some type of offer coming in with the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. This, someone could, this could be online communication. Someone watching you online. This is about creating new ideas that come very quickly. It's about seeing things differently. Okay, perceiving things differently and also the way you're communicating is different. But with the Two of Swords here, it talks about there's some difficult choices that you have to make. Maybe you're in denial, maybe you're waiting, maybe you're stuck in the middle of a situation. But whatever the case, there is definitely a new start taking place, two new starts and someone moving in very uh, very slowly and planning ahead. And you're going to have to make that difficult decision. Let's look at the Magician. Reversed. Um, <clears throat> in the recent past, you got the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords <clears throat> and the Page of Wands. There's definitely something coming, like you have already three pages on the ground, so that's good. There's new beginnings that are taking place. You've been, this is in divine timing. Something's coming in divine timing here for you. Definitely there's uh, a start of something passionate for you, Gemini, 100% here. Uh, in the past, maybe you were dealing with a lot of um, uh, what I'm seeing is like maybe illusions, deceptions, or manipulations around you. There's definitely an ending that took place or some type of loss, but the 10 becomes a 1. So uh, you're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay, in this situation. But there is going to be an unexpected message coming in with the Knight of Swords. So definitely someone's coming in divine timing here. And it's a positive. It's, it's Apparently, it's it's in the past, but it's also in your current energy, okay? Uh, so there's definitely some t positive news. You've been seeing the signs. You've been feeling it. So this message is coming in for you. It's nice to see that the message is here for you. Let's see what this uh, Knight of Swords energy, what, what are they coming in to bring you? Because there could be a new start here. Whether if this is love or, uh, or if this has to do with business or your... Um, your passion. Yeah, again, four of wands. So definitely here, there is going to be celebration uh, and that's going to take place. This could be uh, security, happiness, celebration, and joy. Okay, security. Um, that's coming in here for you. So you could be buying a house, renovating a house, or this is some type of proposal. Let's look at the hangman reversed. So here you are sacrificing, you're waiting here, you surrender to the hangman. The star, the queen of swords, the nine of swords. 
and there's a sense of worry here uh, uh worry maybe um some of you are stalling to make this, this there's a there's a decision you have to make and some of you are stalling um you know hope and in, in this situation, while you're surrendering, you're still worried about something here with the Nine of Swords, okay? There could be fear, anxiety, or just a, you're at a, <clears throat> a breaking point <clears throat> at this time. With the Queen of Swords, it's, you know, this could be you and energy. You're very honest, you're very independent, okay? You're very fair and you're very objective, okay? So you'll know if someone is lying to you or not, but there's going to be a sense of hope, okay? Optimism and happiness and health returning to, for you, to you. Now let's look at Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune here. <clears throat> There's definitely change, <clears throat> positive change coming towards you. <clears throat> so let's see. We've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. Again, yes. Again, there's two of pentacles showing up for you. You're trying to balance here something, okay? Um, you're juggling. Uh, there's, it could be a financial decision for some of you. Um, or you're being pulled into different directions, okay? But with the Ace of Wands here, this is, uh, this is very good. This talks about like a new passion or some type of new energy that's coming in. Could be a new job or creative beginning for you. Some type of like inspiration. And there's a lot of potential growth here. Okay, when the, with the King of Swords, it talks about, you know, uh, if this is your person you're dealing with. This is a person that's very disciplined, okay? They're very, uh, they're, uh, you know, they have a lot of integrity. Um, they're very authority and energy, and also they know how to reason. So definitely there's something coming in for you, okay? Definitely there's change. And I, like, again, I see it through the positive, but <clears throat> it's up to you to make that. It, there is a decision because there is definitely a decision with the Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. There's something that you need to make uh, up your mind on. Now, let's look at the Ace of Cups reversed and how you're feeling at this time. Okay, so a lot of you are going through your spiritual awakening. You're awakening at this time. Um, it's been a journey, and it's always going to continue to be a journey journey to self-love, right? This is about forgiveness and bringing in that maybe new romance or bringing in, like, if it's not a romance, then it's, it's about abundance that's supposed to be coming towards you because you've been putting a lot of work into this, okay? You've been putting a lot of work. So let's look at this Ace of Cups reversed. You got the Justice card, the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. Again, I also feel there's like some type of truce here. Maybe you're feeling bad. Maybe if this is someone from the past that's returning. Let's say if there's someone from the past or even if there's a new person. Maybe a lot of you are thinking that you cannot trust them. But with the Five of Swords and these type of cards here, okay, this is like a resolution that's going to take place here. I do see that. A resolution, uh, you know... Um, you know, coming to terms with something. And, um, you know, justice is here for you. So that's a good card. This talks about fairness. If you're in court or you have legal issues, okay, so this talks about you winning the case, okay? So uh, things are going to be fair. And you're, this is about balancing, okay, the karmic scales. There's truth coming in. The Three of Pentacles, there's collaboration and a strong foundation here. But uh, maybe with the Ace of Cups, you're feeling that this person or this, uh, well, whoever this person is for you, you could be feeling negative about the, about the situation. <clears throat> you could be feeling negative about the situation, okay? So, but look at the cards that show up for you. So I do see this as a very positive. Now, let's look at the Death Reverse and what is being hidden from you. The world, there's completion here. And you, Seven of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups. There's someone here, <clears throat> you feel maybe someone here is dishonest in a situation. Maybe this has to do with the past here, okay? Uh, there could be that there's some, there was some type of di dishonesty if you were dealing with a Scorpio. If not, I feel a lot of you are keeping a lot of things to yourself. I don't feel that this Knight and Seven of, of Swords is a negative. I don't feel that for all of you here, okay? I feel there's resistance to change because there's change coming and, uh, you know, and some of you are really like, <clears throat> you like your comfort zone in, in, in certain situations. But again, the world card talks about completion and success and talks about an ending of an important cycle. So you're graduating to the next level. There is definitely someone here planning slowly. 
coming towards you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, it doesn't have to be that sign. Maybe in the past, if you were dealing with someone that was, uh, let's say, if they uh, they were negative or they did a lot of bad things to you, like, you know, in the, or they, they lied or stuff, you know, uh, I do believe that people could go through the changes and I do believe that everybody <clears throat> can heal themselves, okay? So definitely what's coming in for you, okay, is happiness and harmony, family harmony, love and support. This could be a soulmate. This could be a new beginning taking place for you. And the Ace of Cups could be new love. This doesn't have to be just about new love. It could be about also spirituality and energy, but this is about abundance that's coming in for you. Let's look at the Two of Wands reversed. You got the Seven of Wands. This Eight of Swords, the Magician, the Judgment, Death, Perfect. Well, I say perfect, but there's definitely an ending, a new beginning. There's a death and rebirth. You're going to be going through a huge transformation. You're feeling stuck at this moment because you don't maybe have, don't have the lack of direction on which way you're going. Okay, the Seven of Wands, it talks about many things here. Okay, so the Seven of Wands and energy, it's like you overcame the situation. Okay, um, but let's say this is about love. Okay, yes, it's important to set boundaries, but if you this is about love, you need to fight for something here. If it's about career, you have to fight off the competition and you have to face the challenge. And I feel that this is where you are going to overcome this because you are going to be manifesting, okay? Doing your affirmations, uh, you know, talking to the moon and energy. In the judgment card, okay, it talks about higher calling. So a lot of you are going through an awakening and you are going to go through a rebirth. And definitely here, there's a beautiful transformation here for you. Beautiful transformation. Now, let's look at the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here for you in the possible outcome? The Page of Cups, the Seven of Cups, a lot of emotions here, and... The Three of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Ace of Swords. You're going to get clarity on something here uh, from the past year. For some of you, this message is maybe for maybe a couple of percentage of you here. There's going to be, uh, where once there was a lot of interferences, people, places, or situations where there was connections of the past, whatever this was, family, friends, lovers. Um, you're going to get clarity. There is a breakthrough coming in for you with the Ace of Swords. Okay, so definitely clarity, breakthrough, new ideas, the truth, and visions are going to come in for you. Okay, uh, definitely. But I also see that, uh, like I said, I see like that there is going to be a breakthrough from someone from your past or past life energy. And what's coming up for you is uh, the Nine of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Seven of Cups energy. Okay, there is a new emotional experience here taking place for you. Okay, this could be some. This could be you and energy, or someone around you. This is about opportunities, possibilities, or someone that's very creative. And with the Seven of Cups energy, uh, it just talks about like where there's choices. Okay, and there, there could be choices that you have to make. Uh, maybe you're daydreaming or fantasizing, but whatever it is, you are gonna get clarity. I do see celebration also around you. And uh, with connections that are very, me uh, very meaningful towards you as well, okay? Um, Gemini, let's look underneath the deck. You have the Queen of Cups. Look at this. Okay, the Queen of Cups is here. You've got the King and Queen of Cups, the King, the King and Queen of Swords energy. Uh, you know, the Queen of, of uh, Cups energy, she's uh, very compassionate, warm, kind. Very, in She has a great intuition. She's a healer, a, a counselor. There's someone here that's very supportive. Here you come into your own reading, okay, Gemini. Uh, this this is like a divine union for some of you. It could be a lover, a friend, a soulmate, a twin soulmate. It could be anybody here. But there is a choice that you have to make. And with the Six of Swords energy, I see that you're going to be going through a transition to a more better place to where your fruition is going to come true here. This could be some of you might be relocating or moving. And definitely here, you're bringing something back into balance in your life, okay? With the Six, uh, the six of... Uh, Pentacles also talks about where you have support, there's gratitude around you, you're generous and there's charity. And uh, you also have the Ten of Pentacles. This is the fruit of life. This is what you've been working for. A lot of you have been putting a lot of energy into that. 
and also doing a lot of healing and uh you know and then things come on unex unexpe unexpected you know and these are positive changes that are taking place here you know this is a legacy that you're leaving behind with the ten of pentacles you know it could be uh you know um a fi it could be financial success and stability okay so this is your reading and now we're going to take out the numerology to see what are the numbers that are going to be around you so please stay, stu stay tuned for the rest of the oracle cards that I'm taking out for you. You have an amazing reading. Whatever you're doing, Gem, whatever you're doing, do not give up. Do not give up. You're almost there. You're at the finish line. Okay? So let's see uh, what of the numerology is for, uh, for in this week for you. What are the numbers that are surrounding you? gems what aren't the numbers that are surrounding them all right these are all triple numbers let's have to see what this one is oh look at this you see this sacred number the one the nine added together it's a ten there's all new beginnings taking place so we're going to start with Zero, zero, zero. I am a creator. This could be an affirmation you could use every day when you wake up in the morning, when in the afternoon, when in the night. But, you know, these are good affirmations. You are one with the creator and there there are no limits to, to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. One, one, one. I am creative. Angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor. So, that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. And then you got 999, I am unique. Thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so that you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. Very beautiful. Now we're gonna take out uh, also a crystal card. Okay, so we'll let me put this there. Okay. Let's see what crystal you need this week. What is the crystal that they need for this week? Or for as long as they need it? This is from April 18th to the 24th. One card, please. This is the card, okay. Let's see what this card is. What crystal this is. So these, this is your crystal. Can you guess what this is without knowing the name? I'll give you a couple of seconds so you could like connect with the, the crystal. Hmm. Sorry, I need to a sip of my coffee. This is rutilated quartz. The appearance is transparent, transparent, clear, or smoky with brown, reddish, golden, or black strands. Okay, the healing properties of this is promotes healing and spiritual growth, filters negative energy from others, supports emotional release, aids in past life healing and exploration, reveals the soul's purpose and life lessons, and points to the root or core of the problems. And this is for the crown and root chakra. It opens the aura for healing, resolves past life issues and problems, generates understanding of past life lessons, and leads to current life purpose and growth. So this is rutilated quartz. So it's R-U-T-I-L-A-T-E-D, rutilated quartz. This is your crystal. Now we're going to take out a few of my angel cards here. Let's see what's going on here for you. A few more cards. One, two, one more card for gems, three. Okay, let's look at these together. Ascendant Masters, Geminis. So your Ascendant Masters are with you at this time. They're powerful, they're loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over you over 
and guiding you. Maybe you might be also seeing 333 a lot. If you see a lot of threes, those are the Sun and Masters. It says cancel, clear, and delete. Use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. Cancel, clear, delete. Ask Archangel Michael or your angels to help you or your ascended masters to help you do this. And then you got singing and dancing. Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. Now we'll take also... Um, now, if there's any questions you want to ask your angels, now is the time. Because I do have a deck here of uh, angels' answers. So, if there's anything you want to ask, please do. As I, I am now shuffling the cards, so it gives you time to ask your questions. All right. For gems. Are you ready? Okay. So you have three cards. Let's look at them together. Okay. As long as you see the cards. First one, it says here is there's something better. Trust. Within the next few weeks. All right. Now, last but not least, I will take out an Oracle card where I'll read you a passage. Let's see here. see what your card is this card wants to come out and you got the universe so give me a second to find there it is okay look how beautiful this card is and I'll read you the passage here this card asks you to fully trust that there is a plan for you and that you have the support of the unseen. There are forces at play much larger than you could imagine. Surrender to that which you cannot control and trust in the idea that spirit is always orchestrating what is most needed. This card may come at a time when a cycle or a trial is also coming to a close. Phrase any what if questions in a positive way and say, what if this is going to be okay? What if this is going to be okay? What if this is exactly as it should be? Sometimes we become paralyzed in the practical world because we are waiting for spirit to show us the way. However, the universe co-creates with us. We must be empowered as humans in this dense reality to show up for what we want and trust that spirit will do the same. If you are someone who is always asking for signs, try to take a break from that. Trust yourself as well. So my beautiful gems, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember, we are one, we are love, and we are light. Please take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.